Welcome to Old Hollywood, the Marilyn Monroe edition. Hi, I'm Patrick Cameron, and I want to invite you as I go on a journey to old Hollywood. We're going to look at iconic hairstyles, hairstyles that have inspired me throughout my hairdressing career. But not only myself, designers from all over the world draw inspiration from the enduring legacy that old Hollywood offers. You know, from those beautiful looks of uh, Marilyn Monroe to Elizabeth Taylor to the sultry feeling of Veronica Lake, there are so many iconic looks. So join me now as we put this collection of hairstyles together, my interpretation on how to help you create these iconic looks. What can I say? Marilyn Monroe is Marilyn Monroe, one of the most famous women of her time, and her image is still iconic to this very day. It still continues to inspire people, both fashion designers and hairdressers and the beauty industry. As I said, Marilyn Monroe is truly Marilyn Monroe. To create the Monroe look, what I've done is a drop set. So I put my rollers on the top, my white rollers are coming forward, and then I've wound it so that it's a little bit less full on the crown. This is a real classic Monroe set. So let's take the rollers out and start to brush the hair. Now, as a young apprentice, I was always taught, if you've done a great set, once you start to brush the hair, you should be able to see the style straight away. And that's what's happening here now with the set. As I start working the hair, I'm going to place back combing through the front, and then I'm going to start to place the hair around the back of the head. So we sort of get this lovely sort of drop set feeling. Marilyn was famous for playing comedic blonde bombshell characters. Marilyn Monroe became one of the most popular sex symbols of the 1950s and early 60s. During Marilyn's era, I think she really changed the attitudes towards sexuality. Monroe faced a scandal when it was revealed that she had posed for nude photos before becoming a star. But you know, rather than damaging her career, the story increased the interest in her films, and she appeared on the front cover of the very first Playboy in 1953. Can you believe Truman Capote had Monroe in mind for the lead role in Breakfast at Tiffany's? Of course, we all know Audrey Hepburn took the part. And she even performed two scenes for him. She was terrifically good, Capote said later. In the end, she didn't take the part because her advisor and acting coach didn't think it was the type of character she should be playing. She was a top bill actress for only a decade, but her films grossed 200 million by the time of her death in 1962. More than half a century later, she continues to be a major popular cultural icon. In 1940, Max Factor worked with the young actress, and that's when Marilyn's signature red lipstick became the stuff of legends. Ruby Red was the shade's name, a true berry red that highlighted her creamy skin and platinum hair that Monroe was famous for. So here's our Monroe look. You can see we've got the beautiful sweep over of the fringe coming into a soft wave around by the temple, kicking back around the eye, and then a drop set with this really lovely texture going all the way around. Two of my favourite Marilyn Monroe quotes are, I've been on a calendar, but I've never been on time. Or dreaming of being an actress is far more exciting than being one. Marilyn Monroe, we love you and we always will.